Hello, my name is Randy Shepard, and this is my ministry partner, Jamie Johnson. We came together in 1993 to start Crossfire Ministries. It was just a dream, just a prayer request, and now, many years later, the Lord has carried us to 66 countries and 45 states. You know, in the world today, sports has become a God. There'll be more people watching the NBA, Major League Baseball, NFL football than will be in the house of God, and it shouldn't be like that, but unfortunately it is. And the Apostle Apostle Paul says in God's Word to use all means necessary to win some. So we do that through basketball. We have our college season, university season. We play colleges and universities. At halftime, one of our guys comes to the microphone and gives his personal testimony. Another player follows him up and gives the gospel right there at halftime. And we give him an opportunity to make a life-changing decision to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Much like our college schedule that Randy just talked about, we had the ACC All-Star Game every year starting back to Grant Hill in 1994. You know if you're a basketball fan anywhere in the country, they come to watch their favorite team and players get after it on the court. Every year, the ACC's best from North Carolina, Duke, Wake Forest, NC State, Clemson, come to play Crossfire right here in Asheville, North Carolina. And it's exciting. The game is intense. Slam dunk, three-point competition, autograph session at halftime. Just like the college games, we share a testimony about Jesus Christ and how he's changed our life and give people an opportunity to make a decision for Jesus Christ. As you know, in the world today, young people will come to a basketball camp when they might not come to church. And many years ago, we started our first basketball camp. Now we've seen over 17,000 young people come through the camp. We teach shooting, ball handling, passing, dribbling, five on five, a lot of next level drills that the campers need, maybe to play college ball or to be successful in life through the Christian principles that we teach. International travel. We've been to 66 countries, as Randy mentioned. Philippines, Cuba, Australia, Russia, Israel. What's exciting is that just like music is a language that people speak, sports is a language as well. And we go to these countries and we play games in front of thousands of people sometimes, and they'll come to that game when they won't come to a church setting or some kind of service, but they'll come watch a basketball game. And we get to share Christ internationally around the world. And we've seen literally thousands of people hear the message of hope in Jesus Christ and make a decision at a basketball court. Hey, myself. I'm a guy that grew up in the church, but I didn't come to Christ inside church walls. It was outside of church walls that I found Jesus Christ myself. And we also share the same gospel and the message from the Word of God that your pastor would share. We get an opportunity to speak in churches, both large and small. Sunday morning preaching, we do youth rallies, we do single events. We also go into prisons. If you go into prison with a Bible, you'll get about 5% of the inmates out. Now we take our Bibles, but we also take basketball and softball. Go into those prisons, those inmates will fill the gym or the field to see a ball game, and then they'll hear the gospel. And we've seen thousands of inmates repent of their sin and give their lives to Christ. Bars don't change anyone, but the gospel of Jesus Christ does. We also use softball to travel and play in tournaments in the southeast. And like the halftime basketball we share Christ, we have a seventh inning stretch. When the game is done, win or lose, we put our bats down, we put our gloves down, and we talk about life decisions with players that, you know, they're trying to make a difference, raise a family, get a job, make a difference. And we tell them as grown men how Christ has changed our life. And it's remarkable to see after a ball game, sweating it out on a ball field, men say, you know what, I want to follow Christ too. You might ask, Randy, Jamie, how are you all funded? Man, that's a lot of ministry in a year, we'll do four international trips. We'll have six weeks of basketball camp. We'll speak in about 40 churches, maybe 40 schools. We'll do some prisons and we'll do a lot of ministry in the streets. And Jamie does a lot of counseling and discipleship. How are we funded? We're funded by people like you. We have a little lady that gives $5 a month. We tried to get her to stop doing that. She said, you whippersnappers, don't tell me what to do. God told me to do this. And we have businessmen that write sizable checks. So the support comes in from churches, maybe 10 percent of our budget to 90 percent of our budget comes from individuals. We're a 501 3C nonprofit organization, which means you can get a tax write off by supporting our ministry. We're governed by a local board of directors, of pastors, businessmen, a Christian lawyer that oversees everything that we do, so we want to be accountable to those that pray for and support us. The church is made up of the body of Christ. Some people preach. Some people teach, somebody, somebody might encourage someone or pray for healing. And what you can do is maybe you can't travel around the world. 
Maybe you can't lead a basketball camp. Maybe you can't preach in a pulpit. But you can take your pocketbook and you can give to the kingdom of God and help us travel the world and share Christ. And so go to our website, crossfireministry.com. You'll find a place where you can donate to the ministry. Pray about it. We don't want to rob the church of its tithes. We're not about money, but we have to travel. We have to have the resources to do what we do for Christ. So if God puts it on your heart, bless you. Support us. We'll use it for kingdom purposes and may God bless you back for being so great to cross for our ministries. And lastly, we can come to your city, to your church, to your school, to your youth group, to your singles group, and we can share with you. The Lord has carried us, as I said, all across the United States and 65 countries, 66 countries around the world. We look forward to hearing from you. God bless you and thank you for your support and your prayers.